Hello and welcome to News Mobile Prime Time. I am Saurabh Shukla, coming live to you from our Washington DC studios. And here are the top stories of the day. The language row in Karnataka escalated sharply after members of a right-wing group, the KRV, which is pushing for enforced use of Kannar, held violent protests across the state capital, Bengaluru. English-language signboards of shop and businesses were damaged by the KRV goons. Several videos of violence have been circulated online, including one from a hotel. It showed women and men, some in yellow and red scarves, tearing down English signage. The KRV's demanding the immediate implementation of an order by the city's civic body, which directs all businesses to have 60% of their signs in Kannada. The centre today declared Muslim League Jammu Kashmir as an unlawful association under the Unlawful Activities Prevention Law UAPA. Union Minister Amit Shah said this organisation and its members are involved in anti-national and sessionist activity in Jammu and Kashmir, supporting terrorist activities and inside people to establish Islamic rule in JNK. The PM Narendra Modi government's message is loud and clear that anyone acting against the unity, sovereignty and integrity of our nation will not be spared and face the full wrath of the law, Shah posted on a social media platform X. The Indian Olympic Association has formed a temporary committee to run the affairs of the Wrestling Federation of India days after the centre suspended its newly elected administration. The ad hoc committee will be headed by Bhupinder Singh Bajwa and the members are M.M. Soumya and Manjusha Kanwar. The IOA said it was appointing the new ad hoc committee to ensure fair play, accountability and transparency. The Indian Olympic Association has formed a temporary committee. South Korean actor Lee Sun Kyun, best known for his role in the Oscar-winning film Parasite, was found dead in an apparent suicide. The actor was discovered inside a vehicle at a park in central Seoul. Lee 48 has been under police investigation over his alleged use of marijuana and other psychoactive drugs. South Korean actor Lee Sun Kyun, best known for his role in the Oscar-winning film Parasite, was found dead in an apparent suicide. A video depicting a grand light show is doing the rounds on social media. Many users claim it to be the Ram Mandir light show from the banks of Saryu River in Ayodhya. News Mobile fact-checked the viral post and found the claims to be false. Running a reverse image search of the video keyframes, the NM team identified a tweet by a blue tick account dated July 4, 2023, informing that the video is from Vedvan Park, which was inaugurated by CM Yogi Adityanath. Therefore, we can conclusively say that the viral post claiming to show a light show from the Ayodhya Ram Temple is false. Thanks for watching News Prime Time and do follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for watching.